Hey guys, this is going to be a full moon crystal cleansing video. So let me just get everything ready. I have my box of crystals I wanna cleanse. I have my water. I even have a frappuccino. Um, let me get my lighter. And I think that's all I need. Okay. So, um, oh man, it's just, the video is a little too low. Let me get a couple, let me get something else to balance on this. Hopefully. Hopefully this will be good. Oops! <laughs> Don't want that to fall. <laughs> it's like take a nose dive right in the water. That would be that would be a very bad thing. I have my phone charging too, so well maybe let's just not do the phone charger. That might be bringing it down. Okay. Well, I would prefer you guys to be able to see the table more so than me. Oh well, you guys are just, you're just not gonna see my face. <laughs> but I guess that's okay. Um, you guys see enough of me anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, the full moon is a good time to manifest. A full moon is also a really, really good time to cleanse your crystals. Um, so I haven't done this in so long. And what I ended up doing is I chose the crystals that I use a lot. Um, I chose crystals that I have on display that I just use, that I work with all the time. Um, and I think that hopefully, hopefully I got most of them. <laughs> I have a lot, but you know. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cleanse the crystals first. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna have a smoke cleanse going while, while I do this. Incense would probably be easier. Oh, my poor little lighter. You know what? I have a candle going. Why don't I just do that? have one of my fall candles that'll make it so much easier okay all right I'm gonna do my ring my wedding ring first So I'm gonna do my wedding ring first because it's a diamond and a diamond is a crystal or, you know, a mineral. Okay. So basically this is just water. I have water in a container so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and what I like to do is, you know, I'll let it sit in the water but since it's my uh, ring, ring, I'm not gonna let that, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna start with the big crystals first. Now, actually, let's do the little ones first. So um, I have some black tourmaline. This one is always with me. This one is also always with me. Moonstone. Um, obsidian. I'm just going to put all of my tumbled stones in the water. I have some, um, oh, what is it called? The citrine and, and amethyst, like together. I have some, this is, this was smoky quartz. This is, um, 
amethyst. I have a lot of amethyst, so tons of amethysts. Ametrine, that's what it is. Here's another piece of ametrine. Um, this is a angel quartz. I'm gonna get water everywhere. <laughs> um, some more clear quartz and my aquamarine. Some red coral. Um, I have some labradorite. So this is like one of my labradorite stones that I love to meditate with. So he's going in there. I have a raw piece of aquamarine. Um, I have another labradorite. This is my Reiki stone. This one was infused with Reiki energy. It was attuned with me when I was taking the Reiki class. So he's going to go in there for sure. This is natural citrine. So I use him in my wallet for money. And another piece of clear, clear quartz. I mainly have clear quartz and amethyst. Like those are my go-to stones. Okay. So I have a larger piece of um, paper towel and then I have this one so I can kind of dry them off and do the smoke cleanse. I don't know if black tourmaline is supposed to be in water, so let's take it out first. <laughs> um, you can use a towel to dry your crystals off, you guys, but I just have paper towel. And then I'm gonna do a little smoky cleanse. You can even do the smoke cleanse after you lay your crystals out on the table, um, however you guys wanna do it. So um, black tourmaline, so you have little black tourmaline pieces coming out now. Black tourmaline is really good for absorbing negative energies. Um, I keep one in my bag when I go to work, and then I keep one on my, so the bigger one, I keep him on my dresser, and um, he's in my bedroom, and then I have this one that I keep, sometimes I keep it on the reading table, and or it goes in my purse. Oh, so yeah. I probably should have smoke cleansed them first. Oops, I just went, I just put my flame out. There we go. Now it has to really be smoking. So how often do you guys, woo, how often do you guys um, cleanse your crystals? For me, I cleanse mine, it depends. Like the larger ones, I cleanse them maybe once a month. I like to think when I'm cleansing my entire bedroom um, or my entire tarot room that the crystals are all getting a cleanse like that too, you know? So I just have it, he's just smoking and I just, I'm just gonna wave it over the smoke like that. Um, some people like to cleanse their crystals every moon, like every full moon or new moon. Um, that's a lot though for me, <laughs> cause I have a lot going on. And then what you could do is after you do all of this, then you could place them out somewhere where the full moon will be shining up on them. I'm gonna put mine on the patio outside, keeping them, I'm gonna keep them in this box that I have so that they'll be safe. I love Amatrine. Um, I'm gonna keep them in the box, but I'm gonna keep them outside tonight. So, if you have a large crystal collection, you guys, just pull out the ones that you use the most. Whether they're in your readings or they are um, like that you keep with you in your purse, especially, especially if you're like me, I keep certain crystals in my purse all the time or in my wallet. Um, those you should be cleansing all the time because they're constantly being used. And it's also charging them like, Maybe you're not just cleansing them, but you're charging the crystals 
resetting the intention. It's almost like you're you're cleaning them off from like previous um, intentions that you placed on them, and then you're preparing them for a new one. So think of it that way too. So like all of these crystals that I use on my reading table when I'm doing readings, it's like I'm cleansing them of all those energies that they were using for the reading and getting them prepared for the next batch. <laughs> This aquamarine is always, always, always with me, whether it's in my bed, not in my bed, but in my bedroom, or it's in my purse because I love to take him with me. This aquamarine is, is more expensive. He's a higher grade, because look at the difference. This one's tumbled, this one's raw, but look at, he's blue, blue, blue. And this one is more of like a like that sea green color. Um, so he's a higher grade um, aquamarine, and he was not cheap, and so, <laughs> I don't take him with me very much out in public because I would cry if I lost him. And like I said, this is my um, natural citrine. So when I say natural citrine, right, um, the other citrine that you see in the crystal shops, a lot of times it is a heated amethyst. So if you heat him up, he'll start to turn like orangey gold or whatever. It's a heat treated amethyst. But natural citrine is actual citrine. So he has kind of like a brownish, um goldish yellow color he's really pretty and i use this one specifically for my wallet so i keep him in my wallet for money and prosperity and just like attraction and all of that kind of stuff relight my sage <clears throat> okay. Um, okay so I have crystals in here too so in this box I have a lot of like really special crystals to me I have some oils here um, but a lot of like my labradorites, so I'm gonna actually, smoke, well no, I think I'll smoke cleanse them after I wash. So labradorites, I love labradorite. I have so many pieces. I have another citrine here. This one I think is heat treated citrine. I don't think it's natural. Um, a giant tumbled clear quartz. I'm not putting selenite in the water, so he's not going in. I have another piece of amethyst. Another black tourmaline. He has some um, um, some clear quartz in him, and then my whale stones. All my little stones with my whale babies on them. So I'm gonna put those guys in here, and then I have an actual whale carved that was a gift to me, and another. Um, this is a smoky quartz. He's really really dark. I also brought um, my chakra bracelet. This one has um, some selenite in it, so I'm gonna just dip it real fast. But um, my chakra bracelet, I wear this a lot. And then I have this gorgeous like moonstone. Um, it has uh, labradorite, like all, it's a, a moon cycle prayer bead set. So I use this a lot for, um, what's it called? my meditations but this chakra bracelet I love wearing this thing to work I got a light um, my loose sage I always forget that I have it Let me just sage my crystals while they're in the box. That'll save me some time. Okay. My little towel's all... 
too wet now. I'm gonna have to get another one. My little smokies. I love my smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is really good for depression and anxiety. And just to like um, calm your nerves. Smoky is also really good for like absorbing the negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, all of the above. They feel so like different when you have them in the water. I don't know, to me they just, the vibration changes. When you look at your crystals in the water, they just have a different look to them. They're so pretty. This one has a really pretty flash. So I'm gonna run that sage and give them a smoke cleanse while they're on the table. You know, you could light sage, but I think incense might be easier for something like this because you know how like the incense stick is constantly simmering? But I love the way sage smells. And I need to use up this piece. You see Starla? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's happening, baby girl? Hmm? What's mommy doing? She's like, what is mommy doing? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do my big ones next. Let me put my, my ring on. Um, so the big crystals, these are the ones that I have, like, like I said, I have them on display in my room or whatever. Let me get another towel or another paper towel. is one of my raw amethysts. I use him to charge the um, candles that I light for my husband each day. So um, definitely needs to be cleansed. <clears throat> this is another amethyst um, double terminated point. I think that's how you can say it. He's always on the reading table. Same thing with my rose quartz. This one's always on the reading table. This one is another one I used to charge um, my husband's candles. So it's a flat labradorite. Flat slab. And then these are my clear quartz clusters that I keep by my window in my tarot room. So I'm going to cleanse those babies. And then I'll work on the other ones after. Isn't the music soothing, you guys? If you look back on my older videos that I used, I used to use that song all the time. <clears throat> Starla is so relaxed. She's just laying there. 
I love clear quartz, like the clusters. These are probably, aside from like labradorite and amethyst, like these, cl the clear quartz clusters are probably my most favorite. husband's gonna come home tonight like it smells like a crystal shop in here <laughs> he always says that when I light sage <sighs> okay all right so these this is my um, rose quartz my raw rose quartz this is actually the rose quartz that I lay on my womb on my belly on my abdomen when I have really bad menstrual cramps this girl is always in my bedroom. She sits at my bedside table. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I would do without her. Like literally in my mind's eye, the water is just turning into blood as I dip her in the water. Like that's how much she's um, used. And I don't cleanse her enough. Rose quartz is really good for love, for self-love, for um, patience, for fertility, for <clears throat> your menstrual cycle, all of that stuff. She is all about that. Just put her back in the box. Actually, I could just do this. <laughs> this one is um, uh, um, amethyst, obviously amethyst. I keep this one on my one of my tables in the tarot room, and then this one is my other amethyst freaking love this guy he sits on my um, table as well he's on my reading table right now so he really needs to get cleansed because he's with me through all of my tarot readings for the last um, for the last month <clears throat> Cleanse her little booty. <laughs> I like Amethyst's healing stone. It is all about healing. It's all about helping with your depression, helping with your anxiety, helping with your addictions, whatever. It's a really, really good stone. Let me move these babies over so I have room. I want to have some room for my other ones. Okay.
I remember I dreamt about an amethyst before I got this one. Um, it popped up in my dream. I went to the crystal shop that I ended up reading tarot in. Um, but this was before I was reading tarot in this crystal shop. And the, the lady there, you know, I, I was telling the lady, I was asking if they had amethyst because I was dreaming about it. It was in my dream. And anytime, like, anytime I have a dream like that, I, to me, it's like a sign that I need it. So sure enough, this one was in the display and I didn't think it was gonna be for sale because I thought it was it's too pretty, like they're not gonna wanna sell it. And it was, it was for sale. And then I had a coupon. So I got it for like, I don't even remember, 30% off, I don't know. And um, I think I ended up paying like 30 bucks for this piece, cheap, right? And it was like, I dreamt, I dreamt of this one, like it was calling me. <laughs> And then my last piece that I'm, I think it's my last piece, yeah. My last piece I'm gonna cleanse is another Clear Quartz Cluster. Um, this one sits on top of my bookshelf in the tarot room. Clear Quartz is really good for enhancing the energies that you're working with. It enhances the vibe um, around it. It's like, to me, it's an enhancer stone. So clear quartz definitely needs to be cleansed all the time because it's always working all the time. My nails are growing out, like they're getting long, but they're also yellowed because of I always paint my nails so they're they're like yellow. And I feel like it looks so nasty, so I put clear polish on them. I'm gonna try and grow out the nail, the yellow part. It's all stained is what it is. <clears throat> so if you guys are like, what's up with your nails? <laughs> that is why. but I'll probably paint them before my husband's graduation, so. Woo, grabbed it on the wrong side. Okay, so after um, after my babies dry, they're pretty much dry anyway. But I'm gonna <clears throat> once it starts to get dark because I don't want them. I don't do not let your crystals be out in the sun too long, you guys. Especially amethyst because it will fade. Um, but I'm gonna put them inside this box because it has an open lid, and they're gonna stay in the box on the table outside so that this, the moonlight can hit them and charge them and just radiate itself on them but those are my crystals that I use pretty much on the daily basis um, yeah so love it <laughs> thank you guys for watching let me show you my little table with my crystals it's in the shot <laughs> so yeah I am going to um, put those out put them in the box and then they're gonna go out for the sunlight I mean why do I keep saying the Sun for the moonlight um, and yeah oh I have the antique anatomy tarot let me do a little card pool on that that's what I was gonna do too was a little card pool with the antique anatomy tarot uh. Oh my God, this is not going to cooperate and I'm afraid it's going to fall. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do an antique anatomy tarot reading right now because this stupid tripod is not working. Okay, um, so anyways, that is my cleansing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you cleanse your crystals, have fun and remember there's no right or wrong way to do things. Just take your time, have fun and enjoy. Bye loves.